Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin. Today we have a package here from uh, Bernie Watches. At least it should be. Hopefully I got the right package. Uh, they shipped it through Amazon. Um, so let's get this open. Not totally sure what watch we have here. Uh, but I'll figure it out when I look at it and I'll leave a link to Amazon. So yes. Bernie watches there. It's the second watch I've received from them. I didn't pay for this watch and I'm pretty sure I get to keep it. So I'll mark it as a paid promotion. Let's get this thing open. So there's the model number there. Bernie skeleton watches for men. Uh, you can read the rest of that off. Pause it if you like and finish reading it. Uh, made in China. Maybe I should use the sharper blade on this knife. Yeah, yeah. Gonna slice it down the middle. Should be good enough. Throw that box over there with the other pile of boxes. Uh, witness. W-I-T. I guess that's how you spell witness. Witness your legend. Oh, so that's a pretty interesting looking watch. We don't have many skeleton watches. I think I might have one in my collection right now. I can't really remember. Yeah, there we go. Skeleton watch here. Looks to be, well, it's not really gold, I'm sure, but uh, gold colored material on the inside there. Maybe it's brass. So, AM7018M-A. So, give a little manual here. Uh, looks like this Chinese, Mandarin, I don't know. So, a couple different languages there. And the uh, first pages are in English. Alright, so let's get this tag off of here and the plastic off the dial. We'll get it on wrist. So we have an automatic movement in there. So yeah, let's peel this plastic off of here. And rip it off, whatever. Okay, so push pull crown. The crown's a little small. Uh, I see the problem. The problem is the top part of the case and the bottom part of the case kind of overlap there. So it's not so easy to get a grip on that crown to wind it. Okay, so first position, our only position out is the time set. So no date movement. See the balance wheel there spinning in the background. Uh, so no indices on the dial, but you do have indices on the, I guess that'd be called a chapter ring or rehot. I can never remember which is which. I think that's considered a chapter ring since it has markings on it. So right there will be 1010. The hands look to be heat blued or maybe they're just chemically blued. So plastic on the back here. So let's remove that. There we go. What does that say? I'm having a hard time reading that. It looks like there's something printed on there. First, F I R S T I M E. First time. I think there should be another T in there. And then I can't really make out. It 
So it looks like the model number is um, printed on there on the inside of the crystal, or maybe the back side. I don't know if I can remove that or not. I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling the printing on the crystal here. So I don't know. I don't know why I did that. So yeah. Oh, so there it is again. F I R S T I M E. First, first time. Stainless steel case, automatic, 20 joules, 5 ATM, water resistant. So, yeah. So that the, must be the mainspring up here on top. Wish it was a little easier to wind. So I can wind it like a quarter turn, keeping my fingers in between these two portions of the case. So you can see the gear back there spinning around. Yes, that must be the mainspring uh, right there. You can see it moving as I wind it. Okay, focus, there we go. Sorry about the camera moving. Yeah, so uh, very interesting looking watch here. I'm assuming it's a Chinese movement. Uh, I mean, it's decorated to a certain extent. I'm not a, a movement or a finishing snob by any means. Uh, it just looks like this is, uh, it's been skeletonized and it's been uh, engraved here. So other than that, really no brushing or uh, uh, whatever you want, coast you have, any, anything, or any, any of that kind of finishing is, is not applied to this watch. It's just uh, some, some simple engraving. So anyway, quick look at this watch. I'll, uh, I'll wear it for about a week and uh, report back out on it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. It really does help me out. Uh, and as always, thank you for your time and thank you for watching. Oh, there's this little piece of plastic on there. I just realized I didn't put it on wrist for the video. So here, I'll have to stitch this portion into the other portion of the video. But uh, here it is on my wrist. See what do I have in the background here? So just look at it on my six and a half inch wrist. I don't know the dimensions yet. I'll uh, report on all that on the uh, the full video in about a week from now. So again, uh, as always, thank you for your time and thank you for watching.